Excited by the idea of solid state batteries? Well, in comparison to the quantum battery, they're actually pretty boring. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Great to see you here. Welcome to all your new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Over the last eight months, we've made over a thousand videos on various different types of cars, electric cars and battery. We talk about sodium batteries. I'll put a link in the description below to how I believe sodium batteries will change the world. And I still believe that. We talk many times about lithium ion phosphate, also about NCA, NCM chemistry batteries, and also about flow batteries. And I'll put a link in the description below to the video that I made about the flow battery, which is very interesting. However, there is this new concept which has been recently worked on by a number of different researchers all across the world. In particular, researchers here in Australia in Adelaide and also some researchers in Italy, but others have played a part in other places globally as well. The idea is the quantum battery. If the quantum battery is actually possible, we will know within the next 12 months. I believe it is. But then again, I'm not one of the smartest people when it comes to physics, so I could be wrong. However, this is the way I see things, right? 50 years time from now, the Jetsons, we're going to have quantum batteries, which will make their current battery technology look like horse and cart. And I mean that. The exciting news is that quantum batteries are now much closer to reality. With proof of the idea of super absorption by an international team of researchers. The discovery will pave the way for a class of batteries that charge faster, the bigger they get. So if you put a massive battery, right, in a huge truck, it's gonna charge faster than the battery in a small car. Makes perfect sense. Another amazing feature of quantum batteries is their potential to charge just from ambient light in a room. They don't even need the sun. Super absorption is the idea that the rate at which the light can be absorbed by the molecule actually increases as you increase the number of molecules, explains Dr. James Quaish, a researcher at the University of Adelaide and lead author on a paper describing the research published in Science Advances. This is a quantum collective effect. Super absorption is key to the idea of quantum batteries. If molecules can absorb light, at increasing speed, they can be used to build quantum batteries which charge at ever increasing speeds. The bigger they get, the faster they charge. Quaish describes this as a counterintuitive and powerful concept. It's sort of hard to wrap your brain around really. The more quantum batteries you have, the less time it would take to charge those batteries. Specifically, the time would be related to the square root of the number of batteries lined up together. While superabsorption has been demonstrated with small numbers of atoms, this is the first example of the concept working at a larger scale. For a long time, this was just a theoretical idea, says Quaish. We were the first to show this with organic molecules. Quaish and colleagues built a series of micro cavities, thin layers of light absorbing organic molecules, a few nanometers in width and a few square centimeters in area using a technique called electron beam deposition. When they set up the cavities with lasers to charge, they were able to observe the micro cavities charging at incredibly fast speeds. The larger the cavity though, the faster they charged. The researchers believe this discovery can be used to build a prototype quantum battery, which is gonna happen next year. What I want to do is to build a photo rechargeable quantum battery, says Quaish. The quantum battery will essentially have three different layers. There'll be a charging layer, a storage layer and a discharge layer, all the quantum stuff will be in the charging layer. The photo rechargeable quantum battery, as the name implies, will be charged with ambient light. This battery could work as a small off-grid source of power, possibly as an implant in Internet of Things devices and similar technology. It would be similar to current solar panel and battery units, but because the charging and the storage all happens in one system, it would be much simpler to integrate and much simpler to use. Potentially, you could have cars that are self-driven. Imagine that. Quaish says it's hard to judge how long it will take to get to that point, but he hopes that it could be done 
within three to five years. I think that's being very optimistic. I think for something like this to happen, we're looking at probably a 15 to 20 year time horizon. But, and here is the thing, this could change the face of the planet in ways that we can only dream of today. Battery technology will literally take a quantum leap forward once scientists have fully cracked this code, which looks like, based on this research that I'm seeing here, is actually going to happen. The new discovery is a key step in the charging speed of this next generation technology, but it's also a key to replacing pretty much all fossil fuels worldwide, except of course, those used in plastics and those kinds of things. So quantum batteries, in theory, will allow for faster charging times the larger the battery gets. The concept of superabsorption supports this theory, and the technology's application can spur the development of the electric vehicle industry should it be adopted by manufacturers well into the future, which I'm absolutely certain it would be. Cars and motorcycles with electric battery packs won't need to wait long hours at a charging stop should quantum batteries become a reality. So to summarize the idea, by constructing the quantum battery in a way that units can exist in superposition, the total system can behave collectively. This behavior, known as quantum coherence, allows the units to act cooperatively, giving rise to a hyper-fast charge that depends on the number of molecule units. Therefore, the bigger the battery, the faster it charges. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this concept? Exciting? I think it is. I think the future of battery technology is going to be amazing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.